What's up YouTube? Just wanted to do a quick update video on my current camera setup. I've made a few changes since I did my first video and that video was about how to power your Sony with these big batteries. Um, so I'm still doing that. It's working great. I did buy a third battery so I got three of these big ones now. This one's a, a slightly different brand. It's a Venom. It seems a little more powerful than the Turnagees. Um, the reason I bought a third one is I did a video where we rode out to Toro Weep. It was a three-day trip over 500 miles. So I was able to record all three days with uh, using this setup. So what's changed is, um, is the way I have the mic set up inside the helmet. That's the main thing. The other thing that's changed is I'm using this, uh, this Scorpion helmet now, which is a, what, what model? It is the, uh, I got it right here. It's, it's the uh, VX35, that's the model, VX35. This helmet is great. I can't say enough good things about this helmet. A very plush, very comfortable, more comfortable than the Suomi. Um, I do like the dirt bike style helmet with the goggles better after using this for about five months. I got a ton of hours on this helmet now. Um, the other thing that changed is the mount. Let me see if you can see how it's mounted to the helmet. The mount that came with this case broke. So it's just got a piece of bent metal to uh, make it con fit the contour of the helmet and uh, it doesn't come off. You can hold it. See, I don't know if I would shake it too much harder, but it never comes off unless a branch grabs it. So, so it's working good. You just kind of point it up at the visor and uh, so I'm happy that I didn't have to buy a new, buy a new case. And other than that, the case is uh, protecting the camera well. The camera still works perfectly. Um, and the way the, the battery mounts on the helmet's different too now. Well, a little different. So, still Velcros to the back of the helmet, but now the goggles hold it in place and it holds it super securely. It, nothing, no problem at all. You don't feel the weight. It, it's only slightly heavier than other camera setups, just whatever, whatever the additional battery size costs you. Um, and there's no way getting around that. So, uh, what else can I say? Oh yeah, and, and also the uh, the goggle straps hold this cord out of the way real nice. So the biggest change I've made is the way I have the external mics set up. So, so first let's talk about the Senna. The Senna 20S has the, the mic, the boom mic, and it comes around. And instead of it going on the inside of the helmet, which I, I hate, because it gets real close to your mouth and uh, I don't know, sometimes you feel it, 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 it like, if it's not Velcroed securely to the back right there, it'll come loose and then it's like rubbing on your mouth. And I always feel like if I did have a bad crash, it would break up my teeth. So I just didn't like that microphone right there in the front of my, in front of my helmet. Plus it's, it's super close to your, uh, to your mouth and it just picks up all your breathing. And this camera, it has auto gain on the sound. So when it's quiet, it really magnifies your breathing. You won't even be breathing that hard. It sounds like you're just blowing into the microphone like crazy. So that getting it farther away helped a little bit and it still picks up the audio really good. So the way it's set up now is the boom mic goes into this cavity in the front of this helmet. And, and this is why one of the things I really like about this scor Scorpion helmet, it has this uh, dust thing in the front. So you, so you flip, push this up, pull this out, and then it comes with this big foam setting in here. And so what I did is I just uh, cut out this, the screen down at the bottom, uh, dremeled this out a little bigger, or I used a drill, or I don't, I don't remember exactly what I did, but got it to fit in there. And so you can see, let me get my, help, my, my uh, flashlight. So you can see the microphone. Hard to see the camera the same. So there's the mic, I'll pull it out so you can see it better. But the mic, goes through the side and it stays right in this little compartment right there. And then through the holes, it's too much light. So, so plenty of sound gets to, the, uh, gets to the microphone. And I don't notice, it doesn't seem like it's any stuffier. Like I never noticed air coming through there anyways uh, when I was riding, even before I did that mod. 
So let me pull this mic out. Let me pull this mic out. Gently pull it out. Okay. So this is the microphone that comes with the Cinna. And, and what I did is, uh, let me zoom in. You see that? That is another external mic. That's what goes to the camera. So the slot is the microphone for the Cinna. And this is another microphone. There was some extra room, so I just drilled a little hole right there and stuck it right there. So now, when I stick it in here, let me just carefully slide it back in there. Okay. Okay, so it's slid back in there. And I could just, that's kind of where I keep it, just like that. The left channel or the right channel, I don't remember which channel. One channel goes to uh, this microphone so it picks up my voice. And the other channel goes up to the speaker for the Senna and it'll pick up other people that are talking. And I just relocated it so now it's going to pick up the Senna perfectly. Whereas before I just had it kind of by the speakers. So you could kind of hear what other people were saying but not really good. But now it's going to be super loud. So I'm, I'll pull out that in a second. But what you want to do if you want that setup is you got to buy, I don't know, there's probably other ones you can buy, but this is the one I bought. It's a Sony ECM SC3. I just looked it up. It was about 20 bucks. I bought this one on B&H Photo, I believe. And so what you got to do is you got to take this apart. So you're basically destroying it, but it's only 20 bucks. So it's not a huge deal breaker. Um, you take it apart and you'll, there'll two little microphones in there and there'll be three wires, a ground wire and uh, the left and the right. Now the ground wire is kind of a pain in the ass because it's braided and it's wrapped around the other two wires. So separate, separating this out is kind of annoying, but it's nothing that with a little patience and a soldering iron you can, you can do. It's not a big deal. I have some pictures. If I can find them, I'll throw them in the video. So the way the microphones ran is, um, is it comes out of the camera, comes around, and then uh, right here is where it separates. And one channel goes to the speaker inside the helmet, and the other channel goes next to, to uh, the microphone for the Senna. So, so basically I have two microphones right here in the Senna, one for the Senna and one for the camera. Um, and I thought about using the uh, Senna Audio Backpack, but then you got to power that and I don't think the battery can last as long as this battery. So I would only have audio for, you know, two hours or three hours. So I didn't like that and I thought this solution is just simpler. It's cleaner and, and you don't have another device you got to try to pair and get it to work. So let me pull out um, the speaker and, and I'll show you how it's attached. Okay, I got it out. I don't really like pulling it out because I feel like it's fragile, and it is, but once it's in the helmet and it's protected by the pad and it doesn't move, it's good. So this is the solution. Um, so this is the speaker, and then this is the little microphone, and I just put a little bit of hot glue over the top of it to protect the, uh, the wires. They're soldered on there. And um, then I used hot glue. Was, hot glue was the only way to attach this to the speaker so it doesn't move. And uh, it picks up. And it has to be pointing to the speaker like this if you want it to pick up conversations. If it's right next to it, pointing up, even if it's touching it, it won't pick up the speakers. I did some tests and it's got to be right here. In fact, I ruined one of these speakers trying to, uh, on my first attempt. So, but, but hey, I tried this stuff. I ruined it and then you guys can learn from my mistakes. So, but this works good and I was worried about it. Now let's look at the profile of it. See how it sticks out that quarter of an inch? I was worried that, um, you know, it would bother me in a helmet. That's why this was my last attempt. But it doesn't. The padding's plenty thick enough and I put it in a spot in my helmet where I can hear the speaker really good. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't feel that bumped out. It would be nice if I could somehow get it flatter, but uh, it's working fine, but you know, depending on how much room you have in your helmet, that that little bit that it sticks out, that might be an issue. But luckily for me, 
uh, no issues with that. Um, so that's the, the only solution I could come up with so far. Let me t show you what I did my first attempt and how I how my first attempt was a was a fail. Now this first attempt probably would have worked if I would have just used a Dremel because there's enough space in here. I don't know if you can see this. Let me get a flashlight. Okay, so there's enough space for the microphone to drop down in there a little bit and not touch the speaker and you can put a little bit of a hot glue to hold it in place and then and then this speaker would be pretty much would be flush and then you could just put the fabric back over the top of it and I had it and it was working and it was flush and I thought it was awesome but uh, apparently when I was trying to remove some of that wire mesh I hit the speaker and it still worked but it wasn't it's not as loud as this speaker and uh, having one speaker not as loud as the other speaker was annoying so I just ripped it out and I had an, another set of speakers you can buy these speakers for I think like 25 bucks off eBay I saw I don't know how good they are but so it's not a huge loss and I had an extra set out of a helmet I'm not using so I'll just have to order another set of speakers but you know unless you try this stuff you don't really know how it's gonna work out so that was my fail. So if you try that, use a Dremel and carefully cut out the, uh, the mesh and then you can drop that microphone in there. And if you get the spacing just right, you should be able to put it in there and it won't, and it won't uh, touch the speaker and it'll make your speaker pretty much flush. All right, so I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna carefully put this microphone back in my helmet again and uh, I'll be right back. All right, I got the padding all back in there. Good again. Once you get the microphone in there, just uh, put your foam in there to hold it, and then put your cover back on. There it is. Just snaps in place, so it's a little tricky to get on there, but nothing too bad. I've only had it off a couple times. I've had it off more times trying to make this video than I have in the whole other five months that I owned this helmet. So anyway, that's my current setup. It's, uh, I mean, it pretty much has, it's pretty much perfect now, if you think about it. It's got good audio. You can hear other people's conversations, so it'll be great for uh, video logging and all that, people who do that kind of stuff. Um, it, you got a crazy long record time. I do run a 128 a gigabyte card and I can get I think 11 hours or something but the batteries won't last that long. And if you use the, uh, the high res format, the high bit rate, I forget what it's called, the XC or whatever, you can set this for a real high bit rate then you can only get five hours. But I don't think it's worth it. I mean yeah the videos look great but once you upload them to YouTube, they look like garbage again anyway. So, uh, so I just go with the uh, 11 hours that you can get. Let me turn this on. Low power. Oh, look, we can we can solve that problem, right? We got we got extra batteries. Show you how you do your battery if you do this setup. So this is the external battery connector. Then you just got to make your own cord. Plug it into your new battery. Make sure you get the, make sure you get to the red to the positive. I imagine the camera has some built-in protection, but I'm not going to test it out. So I'm just very careful that I hook it up right. Put that back in the helmet. There we go. Take this up there. All right, let's see how this, this battery is. Okay, yeah, I just formatted the card. So with a 128 uh, gig card, you get 11 hours of space. And the battery won't run for 11 hours. You might get nine. I think this one, the Venom one, oh, it's, you can't see it, but I think it'll get nine hours. Maybe, maybe more, I don't know. Okay, yeah, if you do the HD setup, you only get five hours and 24 minutes. So if you, and that's a higher bit rate than the MP4 file format. 
So that's why I leave it on the MP4 file format because then you get the 11 hours. And uh, the difference in quality, eh, you, you can't tell by the time YouTube gets hold of it, but on your computer, yeah, you can see that the extra bit rates, it does look nice, I have to say. So that's my setup. I hope you found it interesting. I'm pretty happy with this whole setup. It's comfortable, um, it's easy to use, it, you know, it records for long enough, you know, I'm happy with the record times I get. Uh, now I'm happy with the audio quality, now that I finally got, got it to where it'll pick up the, uh, the speaker, so, so it'll pick up my voice and then it'll pick up, you know, whoever I'm riding with. So that's going to be really cool and it's going to pick them up perfectly clear. Now. So I can't wait to try that out on some future videos. Um, the only thing that I would, that could be better is, um, is with this camera, I wish it had a wider field of view. I believe it only has a 120 degree field of view with the image stabilization on. Um, I wish it could do like 170 with the image stabilization on because then it would give a more immersive feel because you could see the handlebars of the bike. And I think that would uh, look, you know, a lot really cool, especially with the image stabilization. And also, I hope they improve on the image stabilization because uh, it kind of snaps. If you if you pan too fast, it snaps to the new location, and that's it's still a lot easier on the eyes than watching videos with no image stabilization. But it could be better. And the other mod would be um, it's hard to tell if the camera's on. And and uh, this I'm totally stealing from uh, this guy's channel, Ever Ride. Um, he drilled a hole and ran a fiber optic cable. See how that lit up red? I can't really see on the camera. But anyway, he drilled a hole and used a fiber optic cable and ran it around to the front of the helmet and poked it up somewhere in front of his eyeball so he can see the little red light. That is a cool mod. So I'm, I'm totally stealing that. I just got to figure out where to buy a uh, fiber optic cable. So, so that's it. So Sony, get your head out of your ass. Design a camera with long record time, better image stabilization, a wider field of view. Make an external mic that already separates out so you can run one to the front and one to a speaker so you can, for video blogging. Um, yeah, and then it'll be perfect. It'll be the perfect camera. Um, well, here's an idea, and uh, I would pay good money if somebody could do that could do this. Um, there is a drone, it's called the Parrot Bebop drone, and it has a really wide field of view camera, and, and apparently it has incredible image stabilization. If somebody could rip the camera out of that drone and stick it on a motorcycle helmet, holy moly, that would be the setup. So, there's got to be somebody who's got the technical know-how how to do that. Anyway, that's it. Talk to you guys later.